It's time to repair this. Wish me luck. Welcome back to I Made This Today. Today, as I said in the intro, we are going to be repairing this. This, my friends, is an index controller. Notoriously, index controllers have an issue with their joysticks where they pretty much break down and stop working and stop being responsive. Uh, in the case of mine, the entire like upper half of the joystick would just not register. So you couldn't move, you couldn't run. You couldn't run through the open fields of a VR game. And it really upset me because these are very, very, very expensive. And also I'm just outside of my warranty on them now. Um, I actually had one replaced the other controller only about six months ago, but since then my warranty has now died and now this one died and I was upset to say the least. But I believe in fixing things guys. I can honestly tell you I haven't done any soldering or any <laughs> anything even remotely close to this in a very very long time. The closest I've gotten to doing electronics on this scale was when I took a Game Boy apart for the painting video a couple of months back. I don't think they sit in the same level of stripping down a intricate piece of technology, really, actually, even slightly close to each other. Uh, I also haven't done any like actual electronics work, like soldering or anything like that, in such a long time. So for me, this was a very scary venture, but I was looking at two things. One, this controller is broken anyway at this point. It's no good to anyone. Uh, unless you want to repair it. Uh, two, the other one's very expensive. It's like £259 to um, to actually buy a new set of these. Uh, they've actually come down in price recently, which is nice. Um, but yeah, 259 quid to buy controllers new or £2.50 for this part. So I thought to myself, I'll give it a blooming go. Now, I have to say, I went into this fairly blind. Uh, there is a the couple of tutorials online that I found that were kind of helpful, but I thought I'll put this together and show you that basically, if I can do it, anybody can do it and take this challenge on for yourself. And as I said, the controllers bust anyway. Worst case scenario, it's still broken. Probably more broken at that point, but still more, you know, it's, it's non-usable anyway, so who cares? I will. But anyway, I don't want to jib-jab too much at the beginning of this video. Let's just jump straight into this. Um, as I've said, I have zero experience in this, so if I can succeed at this, then you definitively can. And spoiler alert, there'd be no video if I didn't succeed at this. So, um, yay me. I now have an index controller that works. Whoop, whoop. That was weird. Let's just start the video. So as you can see here, I'm testing the joystick in the diagnosis and it's left and right's fine when you go to do an up and down motion it's either not registering it or it's just barely registering it it's, it's absolutely crazy this thing degraded over the period of a week and it went from noticeable issue to i'm not working anymore every other button on this controller is working perfectly fine it's literally just a joystick and it's a super common issue on these controllers so now you've got the diagnostics now we can see how it goes let's tear this thing down now to start with, get a flat bit, pop it underneath the joystick and you can just start the prying process to get the front cover off because it's only a clip on, uh, it's not too bad. It did take me a couple of attempts to find the right spot but once you get it, you'll get a frightening click that will make you think you've broken it. But don't worry, you haven't. It's all okay. Uh, next you want to get a spudger or like, like what I've got here, like a little metal spudger. And you just want to pop off that cover. Uh, work your rain ground very gently. The top there is a ribbon cable so do not go aggressive on this, it's not just a front plate, it also has all of the capacitive sensors and stuff uh, and that ribbon cable, if you break it, there's no real going back from it, so just be gentle. Up top here you can see that there is that ribbon cable I'm speaking about and uh, yeah, that's the bit you desperately don't want to break. So just pry that out gently, it just is a little push fit so slides on out, that's the front section diddly done. Next inside you'll see that there are three screws we want to get to next. They are all of the T4 variety. Undo those, keep them to one side. Um, majority every screw in here is T4. There are two screws that are T3, but I'll show you those when we actually get to that part. Next you want to pop up this ribbon cable, use a pair of tweezers, just literally pry it up a little bit because it gives you a bit more working room. And again, get in there with your fingers, or if you've got some like nice rubber tweezers or something like that, get in there with those and pop that cable out. 
and this is for the thumb capacitor on the middle touchscreen. Once you have that, then you want to get your spudger again and you want to just very, very gently get underneath it. This thing is glued down and you just want to pry this off. This definitely could break if you're not gentle, so just take your time, get in underneath it, pop it off. Once you release the glue, honestly, that part is just like, thank God it's over, but it's not too bad. Just take your time. That's all I can say. I stress that as much as I can. Take your time. Next, we have another T4 screw that we want to take out of this part, which is part of the um, the actual ratcheting system for the uh, the straps that go on the index controllers. Now, once you've got that off, you'll see that there is a spring and two more screws. These are the T3 screws. A uh, T3 screws, sorry. Pop those out, but definitely keep a bit of pressure down on that spring because the last thing you'd want to happen is that thing fire out there across your office or bedroom or wherever you're doing this. And <laughs> Once it's gone, it's gone. So uh, once you've got those two screws out, you can pop out the strap altogether, be done with that, and then very gently lift up your thumb, release that spring, get it on out of there. Remember the orientation it was in? Very, very important because it's a lot easier to get it back in at the end of this when you remember how things went that's why i try and be very specific with how i lay out stuff and i recommend that you do the same thing now we can get a pair of tweezers just gently lift out the ratchet in system for the strap pop it to one side again even if it falls apart that's fine just remember the orientation it was in I, i'm just very meticulous when i do stuff like this because i i just want to remember the orientation of everything now, at this point, we can pop out this top motherboard, um, well, the whole motherboard collection, <laughs> shall we say. Again, there are ribbon cables. There are two. There's one Lego style one and one ribbon cable underneath this. So don't just yank on this thing. Take your time. Be slow. Like a pretty woman. And uh, pop out this top ribbon cable. The next one's like a Lego style one. So I did it with a spudger and just sort of pop that out of there. Once it's released, the entire index body can be, you know, disposed of for the meanwhile, popped to one side, and now what we're left with is the sort of the brain of the controller. At this point, you want to pop off the joystick. Now, this does have another ribbon cable inside of it, so be really gentle when you do this. It's the one for the capacitive touch sensor at the top of the thumbstick, so don't just yank on it because you might tear that cable right off. But that would be really sucky to go through this and do that. Once again, the theme of the entire thing, be gentle. Uh, there's one more ribbon cable at the back that you can pop out. So just grab a pair of tweezers or whatever you, you feel comfortable doing it with and pop that back one out. Uh, there are several more screws at the back. They are T3, so take those out. And I believe there's three of them. Now these screws, try and keep separate. They are slightly longer than the rest of the screws that you take out. So again, remember where you got them from, take them out gently caress it and put them in a special spot because like I say they're slightly longer and the last thing you want to do is put it back together and bust through something because you've mixed up your screws. Once you have these out the front section of the motherboard will now come free. Uh, inside of there there is a little gasket you got one more ribbon cable to pop out. This one's a bit of a beast, and it's also a little bit tighter, I found, than the other ones, so just be aware of that. Again, be gentle. Uh, once you've done that, that's the whole front part of all the capacitive touch ribbon cables and stuff dealt with. Uh, now this is the offending subject, the joystick. Man, this thing's cheap AF. It is just plasticky. It is so jank. The new one was much better. At this point, you can get into the soldering, well, desoldering of the old part. Get that out. Clean it up. I did a bit of a janky job. I'm aware that there are products that you can get that would have been much better, like some fluxes that would have kept it liquidy for longer. I didn't have any of those things. I just desoldered it by hand. It took a long time, a lot of effort. You could have made it easier on yourself with the right products, but I just don't have the knowledge to do those things. Now, put the new one in to the holes and re-solder it back together, and life is good. See, as long as you've got all those pins through, life's good. Now, it's not the neatest job, but I did it. Same with the soldering, get it resoldered, and at that point, you just need to literally reverse everything we've done to this point. Put it all back together, 
and you've got yourselves some working controllers. Look at this, man. It works beautifully. Everything about it is back to normal, how it was the day I got it out of the box, and I could not be more happy, man. It, it works. It works! So there it is, guys. We now have a fully working index controller once again with a joystick that actually works. And for future reference, if it ever happens again, then I now know how to fix it. One thing I will say though, is man, I can see why they break down. They use the cheapest little joystick known to mankind. I mean, it probably saves them a massive amount of money in the long run with building these things but they're all plastic. So all of the internal workings of the joystick itself are all plastic, whereas the replacement one that I bought was entirely metal, even down to all of the like responding bits that go inside of it. God, I don't know anything to call those bits, but just bear with me. I don't, I am smooth brain when it comes to this stuff. But, um, but yeah, all of my bit that I bought was entirely metal. So all of the sheathing that worked on there, I'm gonna guess this is gonna last a lot longer than the other one did. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why they went that route. I'm gonna say it's probably money. Most things are based on money these days. But anyway, other than that, man, I've got to say, very easy to do, man. Scary, a very daunting, especially once you initially pop off the front of that index cover and you see inside and you're like, okay, okay, okay. Scary, very, very scary. Um, but now, once you get past that and you realize that you can actually just take the, you know, just deal with everything, pulling those ribbon cables out, getting them back in isn't too hard either. Everything is fiddly. Take your time if you do attempt this. Just take your time. There is no rush when you're doing something like this. Take your time, be as gentle as you possibly can, and try and buy some decent-ish stuff to, to work with. Now, of course, this is different content to what I would normally put out on this channel. Normally, we're doing arts, crafts, and so on and so on. Lego whatever but for this i felt like again it was taking on a challenge of something that i've never done before and i wanted to give it a go and see if it works and hopefully help out some of you guys next week we'll be back to doing the normal regular arty stuff enjoy see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>